This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Nagesh Gohat from CNC Times. I welcome you all on, on behalf of Exagon team. Uh, we have uh, Exagon team also with us, and we have Mr. Amol Devkar today. First, we go to the first question. We are in the Kelly School. We are in the disturbance from Mr. Rajendra. Yeah, uh, sorry. So I would request everyone to mute their mic and switch off the camera during the presentation. So we have today Mr. Amol Devkar. Mr. Amol Devkar, uh, he is working with uh, Exagon for almost six plus years, total industry experience. He is a mechanical engineer graduate. Uh, he is supporting India and ASEAN. Uh, he has expertise in machining applications, multi-axis machining, um, build turn, turn mill, post process, post processor development, and machine kinematics simulation and development. So he is a very experienced in his own field. So I will not take much time. And hand it over to Mr. Devkar. Uh, yeah, Mr. Devkar, you can start. Thank you. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, hi. Uh, thanks, Nadi, sir. Thanks for uh, such a quick and smart uh, introduction. So, uh, first of all, uh, good morning and uh, welcome you all to the webinar session on the seamless transition from machining to measurement using Hexagon's intelligent CAM solution. So today um, in this webinar, we will see how one CAM solution can fulfill your requirement from um, machining to measurement cycles. Okay, so let's start. Before moving ahead, I would like to uh, brief you about our uh, company that is Hexagon. Uh, so basically, uh, we are a, a production software company. You can see here, we are having so we are having direct offices in the UK, Italy, France, Germany, Netherlands, USA, India, and uh, we are having development teams in the UK, USA, Netherlands, France, India, and Russia. So here on the screen, you can see this is a global map wherein uh, dark blue color indicates our direct presence, whereas uh, this gray color indicates our reseller presence. So we are having resellers uh, across 45 countries. Uh, we are having good team. Uh, almost 830 plus employees are working with us. Among them, 200 plus are uh, working um, dedicatedly in R&D teams. So we are having good OEM relationships. So. Um, as I rightly said, uh, being a software company, so we are having a large product portfolio. We are having different softwares and having uh, their capability in different domains. So here you can see on the screen, HCAM, it's a basically CAM software, which is used for milling, turning, mill turn, wiring here, and inspection. So again, work and see. So it is a basically die mold application software where you could program two to five axis milling, especially for uh, die mold industries. Then again, cabinet vision, radon, VG, alpha cam. 
then sub camp work plan smart work explore work incidental and passes so you can see here so we are we are having good product portfolio with us and again this each software having a particular or specific strength in particular domain so today we will uh, more, uh, mostly discuss on hcam and that is to hcam inspection and probing okay so uh, as you know the hcam is basically a cam software uh, you can program different kinds of cnc bmc machines different kinds of turning machines uh, hmcs uh, multi axis machine those kind of machines which required enc code that is the g code and m codes these machines can be supported by using hcam so on the screen you can see these are different kinds of machine component which are programmed by using hcam software so um, <clears throat> these are different uh, business verticals where you could see the wide use of hcam software that are automotive aerospace defense oil and gas medical and sub subcontracting uh, things so as i rightly said you can see the hcam offers an extensive range of two to five axis milling turning wheel turn and wire game strategies again machine inspection is also there so this is a hcam launcher where you could see we are having different modules this is a milling part so where you can uh, handle the different kinds of milling uh, projects then turning wire gear and inspection part so today we will see how uh, hcam support for from measurements from machining to measurement okay so today we will see uh, see uh, whenever we are going for some uh, quality inspection some uh, uh, part uh, dimensional checking so we are we are, we are facing so, so many problems so many challenges so you could see the part is very complex so that time you may get some challenges to measure the component again if the size varies if the part is very large and again it's a part of uh, tolerances if we if we wish to measure the part with a tight tolerance so that is quite difficult uh, to uh, get the dimensioning of particular machine component by manual method so again it requires you know it, it requires material it requires machine time again uh, man hour so there is a, a lot of cost investment in these things okay so yes again these were some uh, part challenges but what are the production challenges okay so whenever uh, you are machining any component and again you want to go for uh, dimensional checking whether the component is correct or uh, you know if we need some rework so for that purpose we are using some traditional methods some cmm so again it requires the use time so so there is a long wait time for feedback so again with that feedback we may need to go for reworking so it, it consumes a lot of time again if the part size is very large parts are really very heavy so that time it, it, it would be very difficult to you know uh, transportation so uh, shift the part from uh, machine to the uh, cmm or quality checking uh, machine so these are some challenges which we are facing and again the part deformation is there okay so whenever <clears throat> uh, there is an environment change obviously you may face some um, deformation so this happens because of environment change again you may face some challenges while measurement while quality checking of particular machine components okay so and one more thing so wherever you may see the uh, high production high volume production so again the uh, there is a challenge to measure each and every component okay so these are some production challenges which we are uh, observing in day to day uh, machine uh, uh, life and now these all challenges can be uh, resolved by using the probes so basically these are a machine tool probes you can see here um, these these are nothing but the, the way we are using the end mill cutters turning tool cutters so similarly on the machine we are using the probe so it's like a it's like a tool only so here these are different uh, kinds of uh, probes you, you may see some spindle probes which are used for fixture settings work offsetting part inspection tool wear so this is a part of spindle probes and the second system is nothing but the tool system uh, tool setting probes where you can see um, these uh, probes are used to calculate the diameter of particular tool 
uh, length of the tool, corner radius of the tool, again, uh, tool weld tracking, if uh, there is a breakage, so that can be detected uh, by using this tool setting probes. Okay, so in the picture, you can see these are different kinds of probes which are widely used. So these are like a tool, uh, tool wear probes. Here we, we can uh, check the diameter, diameter of particular tool, then this is the uh, probe uh, which is used for inspection or say probing. So uh, while using the machine tool probes, so we are having some benefits here you can see uh, in process we can we can verify the pi axis machine, you can verify the fixture, so whether it is properly set or not, <clears throat> then the tool verification. <clears throat> You can go for the diameter checking, you can go for the length checking and part verification, that is work offsetting and feature measurements. So <clears throat> while um, using the machine tool probes, these are some uh, advantages. So it reduces the setup time. <clears throat> what does it mean? So whenever you are setting any particular component on machine, so no need to think about uh, whether the uh, component is uh, pro properly aligned or not. So that time you can go for the probing. Automatically it will set your work offset and um, the respective machining cycle can be adjusted according to your uh, work plane. So that can be done very faster and very quicker and with the good accuracy. So that is their rapid work offsetting. Again, reduces scrap, rework and return. So uh, see, uh, whenever you are machining any component, so if, if you are using the machine tool probes, there itself you can go for the uh, uh, part checking, whether it is in the correct tolerance, whether it is correctly machined or not, whether we need to go for rework. So no need to change the setup. So on machine itself, you can uh, correct all those things. And lastly, it reduces the inspection type. Yes, of course. So whenever we are uh, uh, doing any changes in the machining setup, like from Machine, machine environment to inspection environment. So it may take some time. Again, um, it, it will it will definitely reduce your cost uh, when you are going for the machine tool probing. So uh, it will reduce your uh, or it will decrease the need of additional cost inspection equipments. So with this, uh, you can you may you may so you see some you you may come across some uh, disadvantages like. Uh, but that disadvantage only if you are going with the manual method. So it is uh, difficult to use. It requires the specific knowledge. Who knows the uh, pro probing system? Who knows the different uh, probing cycles? That guy can use this probe very well. Again, uh, machine tool probes having limited capability and the data remains on controller itself. That means whatever the inspections you have carried out on machine, uh, by manual method, all the data remains on controllers. Then again, it may need some time to get that data again to uh, make it in tabular form and make a quality report. So it will take some time. So all these things can be reduced or uh, can be completely minimized using HCAM uh, inspect module. So here, HCAM. Uh, you know, the way uh, the CAM guy is just selecting the tools from the tool library, the similar way he can go for the uh, uh, probe selection. He can select the different probe, probes of different manufacturers so that are uh, readily built in our software. And this inspect model is purposely built for metrology tools for the CAM users. So HCAM is a intelligent software for uh, on machine probing. So here you can see uh, different kinds of uh, uh, metrology tools are embedded in the CAM environment. And with the help of inspect module, you can you can easily find out different features. You can you can uh, um, find out the features, and with that features you can go for the uh, probe path creation, like the tool path creation. Okay, so. The same thing can be, the, these uh, features can be used for inspections as well as uh, probing. So here, uh, let's go through uh, one of my colleagues video where you could understand um, in HCAM, about the HCAM in detail for the inspect module. My name is Andy Mears and I'm here to talk to you today for just a minute about a brand new product called HCAM Inspect. I like to describe HCAM Inspect for people as 
kind of a purpose-built metrology solution for the CAM user. And what that allows us to do is a number of things that are very powerful for us. And it's rather unique in the marketplace as compared to other metrology solutions for a machine tool. As I mentioned, it gives us several options. First of all, it allows us to leverage a large library of post-processors that are available for EdgeCam. What we've done is taken a set of tools for measurement and bolted them on top of the CAM system. Along with those post-processors, it gives us a very robust simulation engine like you see here right now that gives us a fully accurate kinematic simulation of the motion of the machine. In addition to that, it lets us build our uh, toolpath uh, cycles right alongside our measurement cycles in the same workspace. That's a clear advantage for the user where they don't have to get out of one workspace solution for their toolpath and into another solution for their measurement cycles and then somehow take those two outputs and combine them to send to the machine. Everything gets sent to the machine as a single package. What this allows us to do by sending a single file to the machine, for example, that contains both the toolpath as well as the measurement cycles, it gives us the ability to measure the component, machine the component, for example, in a roughing operation, measure the component again for stock condition, and potentially make adjustments to the machine tool for error correction. That gives us a true closed loop system for manufacturing. Thank you for watching. Yes, so thanks, Andy. So here uh, you might have seen. So this is a nothing but the robust uh, probe calibration method. So here in HCAM we can support for any probe manufacturers. And for the particular manufacturers, we are, we are uh, able to support all kinds of probing cycles. Again, we are with the good uh, informative results. We can we can show the results in different formats, say uh, in PDF formats, in HTML, HTML formats. So we could uh, reproduce that. And um, we are having strong support for different kinds of uh, post processors, Panu, HNN, and Siemens. So in HCAM, you can see. Uh, we are having comprehensive set of measurement features where you can uh, find out the point-to-point -point features or you can go for the planar feature that we are we are going to see in upcoming slides then we can we can measure the component in different orientations okay so so let's go through uh, this video where you could see the different of types of features are available in hcam interface and with that features how uh, someone can go for probing cycles and inspection cycles. So this is a component and you can see. So these are different features the point feature where you can pick any point from the surface and then a rectangular array and the feature and just to select the surface and particular point at the surface so you will get this kind of features the circular feature so it is used for measure that diameter or bore, then edges, you can see here how quickly we can find out the feature on particular component outside, so it is used to measure the width of uh, Then machining. So here you can see inspection cycles and probing cycles. So these are different tooth paths or probing path you can see. So these are different functions. You can pick the related features. So similarly, probe circles. This is the next probing path and these are the functions for which function you are going to use this path 
can define it over here and then you have to select the probing feature so see how quickly you can create this probing path similarly probing edge then probing width so it is used to measure the width and already you have created a feature just you have to select the feature in the probe path so it will create the this cycle again you can edit the feature you can give the offsets you can give the approach distance and these features also can be edited so j level and the cycles are updated automatically the same thing can be used for inspection cycles these features can be used for inspection cycles as well So here these are different functions where you can measure or you can update your work data. And here in this you can go for the simulation. Again we are having uh, good capabilities to go for the solid simulation. Then you can see the robust simulation of software. Yes, uh, so uh, to summarize this, uh, we are having one more video. So let's go through that. So here you can understand how uh, in a single interface, a software can go for the machining cycles as well as the simulation and, um, uh, and measurement cycles. With that, you can extract your uh, reports. In this, so this is a uh, edge cam interface, and you can see the component where you can go for the roughing cycles. So, this is a roughing mill operations. So, in the same interface, you can go for the measurement cycles in between. So, here it is a inspect. That to intermediate inspection can be carried out. You can see here, and so suppose this is the milling pass, final finish pass, and you can go for the dimension checking for inspection of final core. So with this, you can extract the output, so which is which will be a combination for machining as well as measurement cycles. These are different probe cycles you can see here. And finally, uh, as a close loop, you will get this quality report, the different formats. So it's a inspection reports. You can go for the different kinds of uh, measurements or different kinds of checkings. So yes, uh, this this way, in this way, you can go for um, uh, inspection activities using HCAM software. Uh, it's a single um, CAM software or a sing with a single interface. You can go for from machining to measurement with the report generation. Uh, so, uh, thank you all for attending this session. If you have any uh, questions, so we are open to answer. And for more information, don't visit, don't forget to visit our website. That is www.hcam.com. Thank you.
yeah it's a wonderful uh, presentation by mr ramol so thank you so much uh, if participants have any questions they can type in chat box uh, mr ramol will be very happy to answer all all the questions or yeah, even if you have any questions or if you want to have a detailed discussions uh, i think mr amol's contact details are there in the slide so you can get in touch with mr amol for the further information on the software okay mr sanath has got some question maybe mr amol you can uh, answer that yes uh, he has put it in the i mean chat box yes 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 so um, sanand uh, we can have a detailed discussion on this so you are having my contact number we can go for a detailed demo for you how um, we can we can create the tool path and we can we can go for the probe on the same part so is it okay with you Okay, thank you. Yeah, participants, uh, we will be having a different uh, series of webinars with Hexagon. So please do connect. Please do uh, watch on the different webinars which are coming, upcoming webinars. And let us know. Uh, if you have any questions for right now for edge camp we can still take it yes so if anyone is not having any uh, questions right now as i mentioned earlier uh, please note down the details of mr amol he has given his contact numbers and also email id uh, please get in touch with him for the further information uh, so mr amol uh, i think uh, we should conclude now yes 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 yeah so thank you so much uh, hexagon team thank you so much uh, all participants please do uh, uh, you can say look for the updates from cnc times hexagon for the new webinars which are coming up and thank you for attending thank you so much yes thank you thank you Yeah, Mr. Mayur, you have any question? Actually, hello. Sorry, actually, yeah, I am Mayur. late. I just joined the meeting. Okay, so you have any question I'm about H camp? Actually, I will afterwards. I will contact uh, Mulder sir. So I will ask him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Please note down his all details. I think you can contact him. Yes. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. So, Mr. Amol, we will conclude now, right? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Yes, thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.